What up, guys? Savvy Echo here. Welcome back to the sesh. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, review and unboxing of the Resident Evil Glow in the Dark exclusives of Target. Uh, just, it was a mission to get this one, man. I mean, everywhere I went to the Targets, you know, I kept saying it was sold out everywhere. And uh, so me and my friend woke up on Saturday and made several calls, spent like 30 minutes on the phone, and we were finally able to locate one, and originally, um, the employee had told us that there was only one left, and when we got there, uh, it turns out they had a whole box of them, and so we were each able to be fortunate enough to get one each, and, uh, they did have a bundle in case, I don't know if you guys knew about it, but if you bought the game... You got the uh, Target exclusive tariff for free, so it's a pretty good deal because in the long run you basically end up paying what, like maybe 45 bucks or 50 bucks as opposed to the full 65 because you were going to spend 15 bucks on the uh, pop anyway, so I figured it was a good deal, so I went ahead and uh, picked up the copy of Resident Evil 7, but uh, without further ado, uh, here we go. So here it is guys, this is Resident Evil number 159, Tyrant, this is the Target Glow in the Dark exclusive, like I said it was a mission to get this one, and I'm so glad we did because uh, I was originally just going to ask my friend to let me borrow his, since he was the one who was able to put it on hold when he called the Target, but like I said we got lucky and uh... We're able to each get one and uh, ended up picking up Resident Evil 7 for the PS4. I haven't opened it yet because, uh, you know, I work busy during the week, but uh, eventually I'll get to it. We were able to play it. Uh, he got it for Xbox One, and it was pretty intense. Um, the game's awesome. Before I knew it, we were like three hours in playing and uh, lost track of time. But I uh, just want to talk about the uh, box in the back real quick. Uh, they also have Jill Valentine, Leon, Nemesis, Liquor, of course Tyrant. They have the, uh, I believe the Hot Top exclusive. Uh, from what I can tell, there's no difference other than the glow in the dark. And also, uh, the Hunter. I really wish they would have done Nemesis into a 6 inch, because... That dude was pretty massive in the game back in the day. And I remember playing it on the... Well, I ended up playing it on the cube. Because I didn't really have a PlayStation. And uh, most of the guys I hung out with uh, had the cube. But uh, other than that, I mean... That would have been cool if it would have been a 6 inch. Still need to pick up the rest of them. I'll do a review on those later. So, I'll take it out of the box and show you guys. Uh... I don't think my camera will be able to capture the, uh, the glow in the dark, but I'll give it a try. But uh, let's take this bad boy out of the box. So here it is unboxed. Um, so before I forget, I want to give a huge shout out to uh, the employee over there, Martha. I mean, it was because of her that I was actually able to get the tyrant. Because uh, like I said, when we got there, there was only supposed to be one left. And then she had told us that she saw a box in the morning that they had just arrived that day. And she went to look for them and she found them in the back. And they only got a total of four. And we were able to pick up two of them. My friend got the other one with this Xbox game. So huge shout out to that because most people would just be like, oh, sorry, we don't have any more. And, you know, that's it. So huge shout out to Martha. So, here it is. Like I said, uh, the only real difference I see, honestly, between this tyrant and the Hot Topic is, uh, the material that they use to make the, uh, you know, the, uh, the skin. That's really the only difference, because, uh, it looks a little different. That's what, basically, is, uh, the glow. It's gonna be the skin... It's not going to be the red veins, it's not going to be the arm, it's, uh, it's mostly his skin, 
But, uh, dude, the details on his armor, legit, I mean, it's just like the game, got the huge claws, I mean, right here, the heart area, is, that thing is crazy, of course, his leg, he's always had those weird things, it almost looks like pus is coming out, but, uh, overall, legit pop, glad they did the teeth good, because usually there's a bunch of, you know, paint errors and all that, but, uh, it's pretty dope, especially the way the red veins go all across his body, but yeah, like, I really dig this bob, and when it goes in the dark, it's, like, pretty legit, uh, I saw my friends already glow in the dark, he charges it on his light for a while, and it lights up really, really bright, so, like I said, I'm gonna try, I give it a try to see if, uh, I'm able to record the, uh, the glow, so I'll give it a shot right now. Alright, no luck on the glow, guys, it's, uh, my camera sucks. Can't, wasn't able to record it, I tried, tried taking a picture, it didn't work. So, uh, that's it for the review. Uh, like, subscribe if you want to see some more. I'm gonna keep doing these videos. Got a bunch of stuff to review. Like I said in the earlier video, uh, I'm trying to fix all this because uh, my room used to look a lot different. And I just gotta finish fixing it. And, uh, next video, The Hunter. I'm gonna be doing a review on that. I got this guy like a couple weeks back. I pre ordered him. But, uh, like I said, I hadn't gotten around to fixing the room, so. That's the next video. Stay tuned. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.